Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're gonna be doing a full face, get ready with me, testing out a bunch of new makeup. I love pulling all the makeup together and testing all of the makeup all at once. So today's video, I'm going to be playing with a new foundation, a new concealer, a new blush, new mascara, new brow products, lots of good stuff in today's video. The star of the show is the Tiny Marvels palette. This palette is restocking today at 9 a.m. PST. I will leave all of the details in the description box down below. And as many of you guys know, this palette was created by Mel Thompson in collaboration with Sydney Grace. And I haven't been able to use this palette since Mel passed away. It's been something that I wanted to do but I kept trying to and I couldn't but it's time to play with it it's time to play with the palette that Mel poured her heart and soul into and left something behind for us to enjoy and remember her by I'll never forget we were on the phone and we were talking about her collaboration with Sydney Grace and of course she didn't tell me everything right she was under contract so there were certain things that she wasn't gonna say but what I could gather was she was really putting the pressure on herself to try to create something that was unique, user-friendly, and something that we didn't already have in our collection. And so she was trying to go outside of the box and try to create something that was just a little bit different. She already had the faith in knowing that Sydney Grace and their formulas are amazing. We already know Sydney Grace formula is amazing but she wanted the right color story and she was so excited and so nervous at the same time. I remember when I got it in the mail and I opened it up and I saw it for the first time. I called her and I was like, Mel, you have created something so beautiful and your followers are just going to love this. It has been something I have loved and it's very messy and, um, it's almost like she left something behind for us to love and enjoy. I'm also happy to report that this video is in collaboration with a new friend of mine. Her name is Jenna Frey's. Uh, we actually became friends through the loss of Mel. And I know that Mel would be so happy to know that Jenna and I are friends. And just how quickly we've become close friends. It was interesting because I had known Jenna uh, you know, I had reached out to her maybe once or twice over the last two or three years on YouTube and um, always super nice, but I just never knew her. I knew who she was. I never really had a lot of uh, communication with her. Mel was friends with her and Mel was friends with me, but we never connected. And when Mel passed away, we reached out to each other on Instagram and instantly became instant friends. In fact, now we talk on Marco almost every day. Um, and, and I'll be honest with you, she's also helped me a lot to grieve the loss of Mel because, um, you know, it was interesting because I know that Mel kept her circle close and if she allowed you in, she trusted you. And when I became friends with Jenna, I instantly trusted her because I knew that Mel trusted her. And so it broke down all of the walls that you normally have up until you get to know somebody. But I instantly felt a connection to Jenna because she was friends with Mel. I know that Mel was very protective of herself and who she allowed to get close. And I knew if she trusted Jenna that I could trust Jenna. And so Jenna and I became really, really good friends since Mel passed away. And I know that Mel would be really, really happy knowing that we've become friends. So we decided to collaborate together in celebration of our beautiful friend that kind of brought us together. I know that Mel would be happy that we're friends and that we found comfort in each other. So um, we wanted to celebrate her together and uh, celebrate the friendship that we've created. And I know that Mel would be just so delighted that we're friends. And so she's also going to be doing a full face of testing out new makeup. I'm not sure what new makeup she's testing, uh, but I do know that she's going to be pulling out her Tiny Marvels palette and creating a look with it. You guys have never heard of Jenna Fraze. You guys, she is amazing. She loves luxury makeup just like I do. And she has such a passion for all things makeup. She is such a true, genuine, person and she's an amazing content creator, such a hard worker, so smart. 
The one thing that I've learned about Jenna over the last two months that we've became friends, she's crazy smart. That girl is smart. She blows my mind with how smart she is. Um, there's a fly roaming around here. So we decided to collaborate together and celebrate the relaunch of Mel's palette. This palette is going to be available at 9 a.m. PST. And Sydney Grace is a small indie brand. They love Mel and they've loved Mel since they started working with her. Mel loved and respected them so much. She always had the best things to say about Sydney Grace. I'm gonna put the message right up here on the screen of what they said. They're going to be giving portions of the sale of this palette to Mel's family just so that you guys know that. They have nothing but the best intentions. The reason why they relaunched the palette is because after Mel suddenly passed away, they had so many people reaching out wanting this palette back. So that's what we're doing in today's video, you guys. We're gonna jump in and I'm gonna play with a bunch of new makeup and I'm going to be creating a look with the Tiny Marvels palette. I will also do swatches of this palette so that you guys have them. Uh, so that you know what the colors are and stuff like that. And then we will jump into my final thoughts. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into the video. Okay, let's go ahead and jump into this new makeup. I love playing with new makeup. Let's start with foundation. So this is the Lawless Conceal the Deal. This is a long wearing full coverage foundation. I've tried this before, so I kind of know how I feel about it. I have two shades. I have honeycomb and sandalwood. You get one fluid ounce, which is 30 mils, and it is made in Italy. This is sandalwood and this is honeycomb. So honeycomb is tan with warm golden undertones. And this is sandalwood, which is tan with golden undertones. So it doesn't have the warm golden. Um, quite a big difference between the two shades as far as being in the tan category. But as you can see, this is just way too like orange for my skin tone. And even if I try to blend it, oops, even if I try to blend it out, it still kind of has that orange tone to it. The best way that I've been able to apply this is going in very, very lightly. The trick with this is not going in too heavy because it does dry and kind of set down and it does have that soft matte finish. Going in very lightly, especially over texture and over wrinkles has been the best experience I've had with it. If there are days that I go in too heavy, there's not a lot of give. There's not a lot of give when it comes to applying this. It's like if you get it too heavy in certain areas, then it will wear heavy in those areas. So the trick is just making sure that you get an even application. So I like to go in and apply a small even layer all over the face with a brush, kind of spreading it out. And while it's wet, going in with a sponge and pushing it into the skin. If I allow this to dry without pushing it into the skin, then it doesn't really look the best. It will kind of get a little bit patchy in certain areas. The trick with this one is just making sure that you apply it the right way. If you get it too heavy or too thick, it will not look natural and it will wear kind of gross throughout the day. If you get kind of a bad application, this one will cling to certain areas. Okay, let's go ahead and move on to brows. So I have two new products from Kosis. So this is called the Air Brow. This is a fluff and hold treatment gel. This retails for $22. This is the packaging, which the packaging's quite cool. Let's see how it has a little bit of that holographic packaging. This is the Air Brow Clear and Clean Lifting Treatment Eyebrow Gel that lifts and sets naturally fluffy feathered brows for a lamination effect all day. I've been actually using the brow gel from Patrick Ta, which is kind of that lamination. It has a really interesting brush on it and really picks up the hairs and it allows you to really push those brows up. Um, I've quite liked that formula. This brush from Kosas is just a traditional brush, but it's just smaller. I'm gonna go ahead and comb this through the brows. Now how I've been using the lamination gel from Patrick Ta is that I run it through the brows and kind of let it set up 
And then I go in with a pencil and kind of fill in where I need. And then I go ahead and set it with the 24 hour brow gel setter from Benefit. That is my favorite brow setter and I've not been able to find a brow gel that works as good as the one from Benefit. While that's setting up, I have also the brow pencil from Kosas. So this retails for $22 and I have it in the shade medium brown. I've been using the one from Charlotte Tilbury. So I'm gonna show you guys the tip compared to each other so you guys can see. I would say they're both very similar in size. So you can kind of see just how they're very similar. So let's give it a try, I'm excited. Right away I can tell this gel from Kosas is not as thick as the one from Patrick Ta. The one from Patrick Ta almost acts as kind of a glue. This one's okay, but I don't know that it's as strong as the one from Patrick Ta. However, with that said, it actually does kind of give the brow a fluff. So it might not like fully laminate them, but it does make them look a little thicker. And I'm not mad at that. Like I quite like it. I wouldn't say it's going to set your brows though. Um, I, it's not gonna set them in place. So I just finished the brows. I think this shade is a little bit too dark for me. My brows are a little bit darker than I like and prefer, but I really like the pencil on this and I really like this uh, air fluff or this, uh, what's it called, air brow. I quite like it. I do, it does kind of give them a little bit of volume before kind of going in with the pencil. So great products. Kudos to Kosas because these are these are pretty nice. I will continue to use them. I wouldn't buy it for lamination purposes though. So if you're wanting to get this gel thinking it would laminate, I, I don't feel like it laminates and I don't also feel like it sets the brows. So it's not gonna lock and hold the brows in place. Let's move on to the star of the show. This palette is restocking, like I mentioned in the intro. And I'll also be creating a video with two or three more looks using the palette in an upcoming video. I'm gonna take the BK Beauty A504 from the Angie Hot and Flashy collection. I'm gonna go into Tree Hopper and I'm just gonna put this in the crease. Now, I remember when Mel first told me about the palette, it was kind of still in production. She was still trying to figure out shades and you know, what she was gonna do, and she had such a vision behind it. This was her greatest joy to create this palette, and um, I feel like this palette is kind of something that she left behind for so many of us to enjoy and remember her, and um, yeah. In the same brush, I'm gonna go into Bugaboo, putting most of the pigment here on the outer corner, and then bringing what's left on the brush into the inner corner but I'm keeping most of it out here and I'm also going to bring it here on the outer corner. Okay, I'm gonna bring a little bit of Bugaboo out here on the outer corner. Now I'm gonna take the refer number two and I'm gonna go into Scarab, this one right here, which is such a gorgeous shade. Like this is one of the prettiest shades in the palette in my opinion. And I'm gonna bring that here on the outer corner, but look at that dimension in this shade. It's so gorgeous. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a fluffier brush. I'm gonna bring a little bit of that up and into the crease right here on this outer corner, just to give it a little bit of that shine. Look at that. This shade is one of my favorites in the palette to bring up and into the crease. Now I'm gonna take the Smith 253 and I'm gonna go into Marvel and I'm gonna bring that all over the lid and a little bit up and into the crease. Together, but let's move on to concealer. So I have this one also from Kosas. I've used this before, but I haven't used it for a while. So I wanted to pull it back out because I'm using so many Kosas products. This is called the Revealer Super Creamy and Brightening Concealer and Daytime Eye Cream. This retails for $28 and it looks like it comes in 28 different shades. I got this in the shade 06. O, which is medium with olive undertones. That's the shade, it's a little bit light, 
but I think with this foundation being a little bit lighter, I can make this work. But I like this concealer because it is pretty lightweight um, and it applies really evenly and it is quite hydrating for the under eye. So I'm gonna go ahead and blend this in. I only applied a tiny bit because you really don't need very much of this. It's got great coverage. I was using this concealer quite a lot until I discovered the Tarte Ultra Creamy Shape Tape. Then all of my concealers kind of push to the side. It's extra forgiving on the under eyes. So I would recommend this for those who have like dry under eyes or you like a, a good hydrating concealer. This is a really nice one and it wears really naturally and looks really beautiful throughout the day. So I'm gonna go back into Tree Hopper and I'm gonna bring Tree Hopper right here on the lower lash line. And I'm gonna go in with Bugaboo and bring Bugaboo right at the base of the lashes. I'm gonna dip into Scarab and I'm gonna bring a little bit of Scarab on the lower lash line. I'm gonna put on a brown eyeliner on the upper waterline. Let's move on to a new mascara that I picked up. This is from Lawless. This is called the One and Done Long Wearing Volumizing Mascara. So this retails for $25 and it is supposed to be volumizing, lengthening, long wearing, vegan, without silicones, and it is also a clean product at Sephora. First of all, the brush looks much different in the images. So here is the brush, and on the side screen is what it looks like in the images. It's definitely much bigger in real life than it does look in the images. Let's go in with the mascara. I'm gonna wipe off the brush. Okay, so a lot comes off on the brush, which is not my favorite. Okay, hold on. So that's one coat, and this is a clumpy formula. The problem is, I don't know what it's called, but there's a little thing that's down inside the tube that as you pull out a brush, it's supposed to wipe off some of the mascara. It doesn't wipe off enough mascara. You can see the chunk here at the top. Like, all of that should not be that should wipe off. So the problem with it is way too much mascara comes off on this brush and it's a thicker formula. I don't love the applicator. We'll see how the formula works, but I recommend wiping that brush off before you go into your lashes because it puts off a lot. Like there's a lot of mascara that's on the brush. Oh, this is a clumpy formula and I accidentally got too much on that little lash brush and look at how much stuck to my lashes. I don't love this mascara, you guys. It's such a thick formula that they didn't create, they needed a smaller brush, first of all, and they need to have that little like stopper thing, that the little piece that like takes off mascara on the wand, like way better than it is. See what it's doing to these two lashes? Like it's so thick and kind of heavy that it kind of weighs down the lashes in a way. Like the formula is really thick. Not my favorite mascara, you guys. I would not bother with this. This is not a good one. Let's move on to blush. So I have this new one from Lawless. This is called Make Me Blush. It is a velvet blush, and I picked it up in the shade Indian Summer. So I'm gonna be using the refer number four. And I grabbed this shade because I don't have a lot of this shade in my collection. Ooh, that's pretty. Ultra pigmented. And definitely a gorgeous blush. Wow, that's a pretty blush. It's a lot of blush, I know, but I am going to powder and I'm gonna do the powder technique that I learned from Mel. Uh, she calls it buffing. See how harsh all of these edges look and you can kind of see that it just looks harsh, but wait until you go in with a tiny bit of setting powder and kind of blend and buff all of the products that you apply together. Look at that. Look how much more seamless that looks compared to this, right? And it doesn't require using very much product either. That's what I also love about it is that even if you don't like using translucent setting powder, 
you're not using very much. So then I take some setting spray and spray. Okay, let's move on to the highlighter. This is the Huda Beauty Rose Quartz. This is a face gloss. Now this is not available on the Sephora website. I actually had to order this from her website. I mean, it's got all these like pearls and you twirl your finger. And let's see what this looks like. Ooh, that is interesting. It's not super tacky either. So it's definitely more of a gloss. So I've got it here on the finger and I'm gonna tap it using one finger that's clean to blend it out. So one finger with the product on and then I'll use the other finger to kind of blend it out. This is a pretty product, but I don't know that it's worth the money. This is $39 and I'm not so sure that it's worth $39. It is pretty and it's a soft highlight, but I don't know that it's worth $39, you guys. I think this might be tops, maybe 20, 25 tops. The palette is gorgeous. The Rose Quartz palette is perfection, but this I think might be a little bit overpriced. So let's move on to lips. So this is from Kosas. This is called the Wet Lip Oil Plumping Treatment Gloss. It retails for $22. Looks like it comes in eight shades. I picked it up in the shade um, Unbuttoned. Is that what it is? Yeah, Unbuttoned. I've heard great things about these, but I've never tried it. This is the color. It's a pretty color and it's got pretty good pigment. For being what it is, it's got pretty good pigment. Let's put it on and see what it looks like without. So that's a pretty color, but it feels really good on the lips. I'm actually gonna wear this throughout the rest of the day, but so far I like the color of this and I also like how it feels. I'm gonna be using one of Mel's shades. I think I'm gonna use Beauty. I just ordered these from Christian Audette. Um, we have Puffin and we have Beauty. She does have two lip liners, Smooches and Kitten. I have Smooches here, but I feel like I want something a little bit darker uh, because I am going to pair it with Beauty. Beauty is a gorgeous, like, cool tone nude. Now, I already have one in Beauty, but it's almost out. So this is as much as I got left of Beauty. <laughs> so I restocked. I will use that one up. I'm probably gonna throw that one in my purse. It's a gorgeous kind of nude cool tone. So that's beauty. You can barely see it on my skin tone. It's so gorgeous. And then she has Puffin. For me, Puffin was the star of the show. This is just one of those shades. I have a fly driving me crazy in this atmosphere. Look at Puffin. Puffin is a gorgeous, like orangey, peachy color. I don't have anything like Puffin in my collection. This is the most unique shade and it is absolutely stunning. How she created something that had some of that orange but also a muted kind of peach, oh, it's just perfect. I used to have the lip liner in shade Kitten. It was a little bit light for me, so I gave it to my daughter, but I did reorder it, to order it so I don't have it yet, but I wanna wear the shade Beauty, the lip color. I wanna use a lip liner that has a little bit of depth and a little bit of warmth in it. I'm gonna grab the nude number four from Victoria Beckham. Now I'm gonna go in with the shade Beauty. Right in the center. So this is the final look using all of the products that I used. Because this palette is available today, I am going to do some swatches so you guys can see just how beautiful these shades are. And then we will jump into my final thoughts. So I will see you guys then. Okay, so I hope that those swatches of the Tiny Marvels palette was helpful. 
let me go ahead and get into my final thoughts. I want to first talk about the foundation. I think I made my points about the foundation pretty clear. You just have to be really careful the way you apply it. And even though I feel like my face is like locked and loaded, like I feel like my foundation will last a long time, but this does set a little bit heavy over my wrinkles and over my chin. My best way to know how a foundation is going to wear is how it looks on my chin. And this doesn't look the best on my chin. It's just not my favorite foundation. I think it's an okay foundation, but there's so many great foundations out on the market. And it's just, I would say on a scale from one to five, it's maybe like a three. I just wouldn't recommend this for dry skin. It's not the worst foundation ever, but it's definitely not my favorite. The concealer, I really, really like. If you guys are looking for a really nice hydrating medium coverage concealer that definitely has nice clean ingredients, this one from Kosas is fantastic. I've used it several times and I just, I've really, really enjoyed this concealer. It's a nice one. Let's talk about this blush. Um, I actually quite like this blush. I think the texture of it is really beautiful. I wanted to swatch it for you because I didn't swatch it in the video, but that's the color and it's got great pigment and it does have a velvety texture. So I like these blushes. These are really pretty blushes. I mean, I definitely didn't need another blush in my collection, um, but I really don't have another shade like this. Uh, so I'm happy to have this one, and I think it's a really pretty blush. So if you guys were interested in the blushes from Lawless, they're really nice. Mascara, I am not a fan of the mascara. I do not like the mascara, not on even on any level. Um, I think I pretty much went through all of the things that I did not like about it. Too much comes off on the wand. It's too thick and the wand is ginormous and it's a very clumpy mascara and I just don't like it. I, it's not my favorite. It's kind of messy to work with, to be honest. Um, the Rose Quartz Highlighter, I think it's a nice highlighter, but I don't feel like it's necessary. Me, I would rather get the palette. I would rather spend a little bit of extra money uh, and get the palette because the palette is gorgeous. Like the palette is perfection on every level. This, eh, it's okay, but I don't really feel like it's anything super duper special. So I would probably pass on this. Now, as far as the brow products, I like this pencil. I just need a lighter shade, but I actually quite like the pencil. I feel like you get really good pigment from this and it, it works really nice. I mean, this is a pretty nice pencil. So I'm gonna plan on getting it a little bit lighter in shade once I use up the one from Charlotte Tilbury that I've been using. This is a really nice one. I quite like it. And the airbrow, I think I pretty much went over that. It's really, it's a nice kind of, um, it's kind of a thickening type of gel. It kind of thickens the brows up a little bit and kind of fluffs, fluffs them, but it's definitely not going to lock and hold them. So just kind of know that, but these are okay. I'm, I, I like these. Okay, so this gloss, the uh, wet lip oil, I quite like this, I do. I like this, especially putting it over top of like a lipstick. This is really nice. I'm gonna continue to use it but I like it, I do. I think this is really nice. So those are my overall thoughts on all of the products that I used in today's video. Definitely set your guys' alarm. I will link all of the information on this palette in the description box down below. I hope that you guys are able to pick up your Tiny Marvels palette. And like I said, I will be uploading a video creating three looks uh, using the palette. But Sydney Grace formula, you guys, it is on point. Don't forget to head over to Jenna's channel. I will link her channel and her video in the description box down below so you guys can go over there and check it out. Let her know that you are a part of my family. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me in today's video. I hope you guys all have a wonderful day and I will see you guys all in my next video. Love you. Bye.